Ilya Dragunov ready to bring his aggressive style to his opponent here tonight. Dragunov has to be one of the toughest competitors in WWE. Few can match his intense and relentless approach to competition. I don't know how he manages it, but Ilya Dragunov always seems to be on the attack, even when being attacked. Certainly a dangerous competitor for anyone who steps into the ring with him. I expect we'll see that signature style of Dragunov on full display tonight. And staring him down is Riddle. The original bro. Byron, I'll emphasize original because there's nothing stale about him. His style, his attitude, his in-ring abilities are completely his own and completely fresh. Others can try to pretend, but Matt Riddle is living it. Since arriving in WWE, one thing that has stood out to me about Riddle is his remarkable toughness. Does his ability to shake off pain give him an edge tonight? Absolutely. Riddle's time in the MMA world has shaped him into an incredibly resilient competitor. The way he can shrug off strikes can make it difficult to slow him down when he's on offensive run. Quick sidestep by Dragunov. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Oh my God, what an elbow. Punishing their opponent. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. With the counter, big kick. Delivers the knee. Oh my! He's taking. This to the floor now. <laughs> what a forearm! <laughs> Reversal. Can he take advantage? <laughs> My goodness, that's insulting. <laughs> and he tosses it back in now. and elbows and forearms. My God, what a striking display. Both wrists captured it. That was nasty. And into the count. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Riddle gets reversed. Gets tossed. Suplex. Good golly, what a knee. Both putting their full weight on the arm. The Kimura, the Kimura. Kimura along the side. Will they tap? He doesn't have much time before his arm snaps. Great job. Fighting out. He's got him caught. Control and a suplex. There wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. After a shot, it's ruthless striking. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Center power bomb. Yeah. Riddle turns that around. Quick takedown there. We might be close to the end. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. for the arm bar and a oh. And we are down to the proverbial wire here, guys. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. Put in a position now. 
Now watch this, fellas. Riddle calling for some backup from his bros in the WWE Universe. Makes it back just in time. Oof, that was really close. Incredible! Oh man, a little extra luster behind that kick. to muster. Matt Riddle looking to put him away with the ground. When you see Riddle pull off something like that, what else can you say but... Oh, just turn that around. I don't think any of these superstars are going to show any quit at this point. Never say die attitude on full display. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Up high. Good Lord. Taking flight. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Powerbomb. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh. Is he? Yeah. Powerbomb dropped in. Into the ring now. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. He's turning the tables. Oh, a shot right to the kidney. And again. Great win on your opponent. Out the knee. Riddle up high. From the top. Splash. For the win. Two. What a kick out. How is he still in this match? By the skin of his teeth. Riddle not playing games anymore. Measuring him up. Still ahead of Riddle. See up to the rafters, and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is! All eyes are glued on this battle. There's the cruise on. What a counter by Riddle! Riddle with a kick. And the ropes forced to break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. Pulls the trigger. Bang! What a knee. What are we about to see? Oh, knee right to the hands. Ah, what a hamstring. He avoids the damage. Vision of Royal feeling vibes of a different nature now as he gets in his opponent's brain. Had that one scouted. Counter after counter. Makes him pay with a counter. Ooh. Oh. Lands oh. a knee. Shock in the arena after that kick. 
kick out. Riddle might be on Dream Street. Looking for the victory. Two count. Oh, he just kicked out. Riddle refuses to quit. What an impressive kick out for Riddle. And Dragunov can't let. Dragunov, propulsion engaged. I just have it. Pin. One, two. What a kick out at two. Riddle just defied odds with that kick out. Everyone thought this was a. Ilya Dragunov getting fired up in the corner. Eyes locked on his opponent. Oh. Moscow. Exclamation delivered by Dragunov. So this out. match with a big win under his belt. He was as on top of things as he could possibly be here tonight, and look how it paid off. It's an instant party in the WWE Universe whenever the Street Profits are in action. Montez and Angelo have certainly set themselves apart with a tremendous amount of strength and athleticism. One of my boys, that athletic prowess that has made the Street Profits triple crown tag team champions when they work the smoke. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. He moves the candy shot. Reversal proving they did their homework. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Trapped with a suplex. Boom! Did you hear the impact? Gets out of there in a hurry. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact! Punch connects. Russian leg sweep. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Xavier Woods really feeling the heat now. Attack gets reversed. Oh, blow to the bread basket. DDT! Talk about devastation. Oh, back elbow. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Great reaction from Kofi. That might be it. Uh oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being a to stay in this match. It's, he makes the early save. Oh, man. Paying it right back with a reversal. Now, DDT jumping neckbreaker. Ouch. Rolling oh. elbow finds its mark. Ouch. Now he's been put on the defensive. Ready. 
face first. Last second knee to the face there. Down he goes. Climbs back inside. Getting him into the corner. Oh, that might have just broken something. In a corner. Talk about dismantling your opponent. He has to be at his limit now. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady rolling up. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. You really don't see matches this exciting very often. This team was totally in sync, attacking in perfect unison like they were reading each other's minds. Always need to be on your toes whenever you face off against multiple combatants. That is especially true in this triple threat with Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, and Guto. Three competitors, one fall to a win, and this is where you start to separate the wheat from the chaff, so to speak. Look at this. Just launched his opponent overhead, belly to belly. That will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. Ooh, what a nasty kick. That's disrespectful. He's lost some of his win now. In triple threat, the damage comes twice as fast. He knew that coming. Neck breaker excellently executed. If there's one match type that's all about knowing when to pick your spots, it's got to be the triple threat match. Being a smart competitor means biding your time, letting the other two superstars in the match tire themselves out and wear each other down. Then you just have to pick the bones like the in-ring genius you are. Honestly, sounds more like an in-ring scavenger, Corey, but still a smart strategy nonetheless. Lands face first. <laughs> Makes the cover. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Into a power bomb. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. He catches Guther with a big counter. All the way up. And the big time power bomb. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. That'll slow Drew McIntyre down a bit. And that's on the counter. Well, the Celtic Warrior wants a fight, and one way or another, he's going to get it. That was a power bomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. Taking it to the shoulder. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Line. What impact. Punishing their opponent. Into the corner. This can't be good. Up and around. Down with a tilt to world backbreaker. Going <laughs> across the way. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Thunderous power bomb. Now that's what you call impact. Turns to the ring. The countdown is on, gentlemen. McIntyre sets up. He's returning fire. Oh my God! Take it down with the gold buster. This could be it. Cover for the win. He breaks the ref's count before two. Still not enough to put him away. Sequence 
of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Marsanin, them up for the beats of the Baron. Nowhere to go. Just brutal. Oof. Gunther cuts him off. That's a chop that'll wake you up. Kick. This is disrespectful. Quick return to the ring. <laughs> the ring general. McIntyre's in dire straits. Oh, man. Inverted backbreaker. Ow. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. as all three competitors after an amazing triple threat match. We knew these three would put on a show, but I do not think anyone predicted just how intense this match would be. I think one man did, and it's the one currently celebrating his win. This should be an interesting match. Bray Wyatt is a warped, twisted man and a lover of mind games, both in and out of the ring. Yeah, you never quite know which way is up or down when it comes to Wyatt, and that's how he likes it. His mind, it's like an abstract drawing. I was gonna say like a labyrinth, but I understand your point, Byron. If Wyatt has his way, this match will be more psychological warfare than anything else. And with LA Knight, you're looking at a superstar and a man of a certain set of skills who absolutely knows how to get things done in the ring, just gets right up in your face and takes you on head on. takes a lot in a match like this. Oh, what a drop kick. And Wyatt is not accustomed to this position. Wyatt is finding no salvation here. What a shot. And an elbow. Big punch finds its mark. He'll head to the ring. Placed into the corner. 
Oh. oh, foot just stomping down. And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. My God, enough. He knows how to avoid contact. Big punch. Ouch. Strong oh. kick. My goodness. Saw it coming. Caught with a clothesline. Carefully measured knee drop. Jordan through the ring. This match is brutality starting to sh incoming. No one can take the whole complexion of this match. What a right gosh. Oh, we're gonna grind the features off their face. Way across the top row. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many to victory, including the low road. Just a dominant display. Big power slam. Ray Wyatt, oh no. This is bad news for Wyatt's opponent. Oh, how scary is that? Time to kiss this one goodbye. and capitalized. That's just what he does, Saxton. Oh, he kicked out. We'll see if this is the start of the rally. Oh, no. Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. Oh, no, this is not where he wants to be. Yeah, but can he roll on his body? Can he roll? Can he roll here and counter this? Fight it. Fight it. Oh, he gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. He's one step ahead there. It's Bray Wyatt who's victorious, inflicting all that physical punishment on Knight on top of all the mental punishment. I have to wonder just how long it will be until Knight comes back around looking to even the score. You don't treat a man the way Wyatt treated Knight and expect him just to take it lying down. Theory here, a superstar who loves to get under his opponent's skin, loves to just grind their gears. Look, Cole, Theory can't help it if he's just so preternaturally talented that it makes everyone else jealous. They're just embarrassing themselves, getting so worked up about it, and Theory just so happens to take pleasure in embarrassing his opponents. Yeah, tonight should be no different for Theory. He's taking on a guy that's looking to put him in his place here tonight. This guy's been saying all week how he's going to prove a point in this match tonight. Section. Measuring. Oh, face stop. He reverses it. Hoist it up. Ooh, gut first into the knee. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Quick thinking from Theory. First with a waist lock takedown. Beautiful takedown into the Achilles lock. It's not him. Oh, the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight him. He's trying to break out and does it. Knee right to the gut. Theory 
is known for his cocky attitude, for his showboating in and out of the ring. Would you consider that a hindrance to him here in this one, or is it the kind of mind games that could be beneficial to him? In this particular case, Cole, I think Theory could stand to cut back on the showboating. I think he's up against someone who isn't going to take too kindly to it, and I'm pretty sure they'll put an end to it in a way of their own if Theory won't himself. Taking it outside the ring now. Yeah. Fillet your chest. Oh, clubbing blow to the back. Uh-oh. Out it scouted. Sit straight into the barricade. That holds back Theory's attack. And returning to the ring. Beautiful. And he makes it to the ropes. I do, Tim. Producing a trampoline. He thinks he has it. No, kicks out. He really thought that was it. Set up in the corner of the ring. the submission before things got more disastrous for him. Austin with an explosive sequence here. Looking at a fired up Austin Theory. Side headlock applied. Oh, good oh, measure. of a second. Theory's got a plan to end this. Theory looking for a win in the now. Oh, down. Will that clinch it for Theory? Two. Major, major win. That'll change his career tonight. Here is your winner, Austin Theory. He really wanted this one bad. Yeah, what a major win for him here. He's definitely a superstar to watch in the weeks to come. That was a spectacular performance. Triple threat, always a challenging matchup for any superstar. In this one, we'll see Orton, John Cena, and Edge. Triple threat matches are not for the weak will. Losing this match can be completely out of your control. The Viper has him hooked. Exploder suplex from Orton. Taken down with a chop block. And it's done. What now? Suplex. Edge. A uh, sit out mat slam. Looking worse for wear. The corner now. By Randy Orton. Vintage Edge. Oh, oh, he is finished. Stunner. Stunner. John Cena with a rough blow there. right back. Yeah. 
Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Oh, oh. Into a power bomb. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. Oh man, take a for the trachea. Triple threat matches are about as dangerous as they come. So here. Probably not gonna wait for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat's curse is in effect. Oh, I can't stand this move. Hi, Colt. Tap out. Do it now. Live to fight another day. Time to hit the play button. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, he goes for the quick pin attack. And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. He went right into that turnbuckle. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. No, please don't remind me, Corey. Taking this one back to the ring now. Big four. Cena got caught with the reversal. Edge slipping some here. Oof. Good punch. Nasty. And what's he looking for here? The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. Uh-oh, Edge from behind. Edge back. Done. Viper in full control. Launches. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. The Viper able to strike back. He's heading back to the ring. Oh, gets out of that by using a jawbreaker. This 
Vicious right for him. It is unbelievable what these athletes have been putting each other through. Absolutely pushing each other beyond any normal human's limits. Ooh. The apex predator taking command. This devastating offense from Orton is so hard to prepare for. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal form.
Yokes up their opponent. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. Tough position to be caught in here. We are witnessing. Mind games in full effect from the Apex Predator. I don't know what they're looking for here. The steel chair. Never as innocent as it looks. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Setting foot in the ring now. Super close line. Hoist it up, nipped over in a snap suplex. Oh, look at this, out to the apron. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. That'll turn your lights out. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. From way up. Through the air and connects. Taken out from high above. Special kind of crazy to do that. Ouch. Hoist it up. Bang. Snap suplex. And Edge signaling that it could be judgment time for his opponent tonight. Turnbuckles. He gets back into the ring. Here it comes. Execution. Oh. Come
tremendous victory in this triple threat match. I cannot even imagine how any of these men feel after a match like that. All I can really say is that they put on a triple threat match for the ages. Intensity, integrity, intelligence. Kurt Angle definitely practices what he preaches when he steps into the ring. Yep. Uh-oh. Incredibly important moment right there, being able to get on the ropes. It can't be understated how much that could have just saved this match. And look at it for a bad suplex. Very nice. Lifted way. Receiving end. Punch right in the head. A lot of ways Gable can win this match tonight, Corey. What do you think affords him the best chance to earn the W? Cardio, cardio, cardio. Amateur wrestlers have some of the best motors of any athletes in the world. And as an Olympian, Gable's ascended to the highest form of that discipline. All he has to do is draw the match into deep waters and the win will be in reach. was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. So looking to catch him off guard. Kick out at two. A surprisingly deep count for this stage of the match. Bam! Down he goes. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. No need to panic. He's still swinging. into the corner. He saw that one coming. Uh-oh, ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Uh, knee crusher. That's gonna hurt. Uh, trampling the opposition. Big counter by Angle. Coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Evades the attack. Angle in a vulnerable state. Belly to belly suplex. What's Gable got here? Belly to belly. He may be in a bad way here. Attacks like that are what put Gable at the top of the class. And now gets tossed into the ring. All right. Elusiveness from Gable. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. There's some power behind that punch. Able to interrupt the attack. a perfectly placed target. Nice monkey flip. Great reversal. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Ah, shot to the back. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Kurt's 
Setting it up. Angle slam. Referee breaks the cap. Looks like a rope break. Good angle. Picks the leg. Looking to end this here. And the rope saving him there. But will he be able to last much longer? From the middle rope. Kick to the lower back. Return fire from Gable. Back to the corner now. Turning the tables there. Longer. Angle's gonna need intensity, integrity, and intelligence to get back into this match. Yeah. You have to think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. Fatigue starts setting in, and you don't know exactly have all your wits about you. It could quickly lead to error. And a carefully measured knee drop. What could Chad be looking for? Checkmate maneuver. How did he do that? Knee right to the gut. And Angle finding the attack at a crucial time. I think Angle has his sights set on the finish line and will run over anyone to get there. And listen to this place. It's deafening in here, Michael. Gets it with the counter. Ducking out of trouble. Lifting their opponent back to their feet and up. Oh my! Discus punch. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, Turns around Angle's move. And he sends him into the corner. applied once again his ankle moments away from tap out All right. Kurt Angle wins the match here is your winner Kurt Angle a big win here after an extremely competitive match what a contest Kurt Angle has made a career of thrilling wins just like what we saw here tonight. Cody Rhodes, a nightmare of a competitor set for battle. Guys, I don't know if there's a more cunning superstar in all of WWE than Cody. Dashing and dastardly, that's Cody's bread and butter with a little smash mouth style to boot. Oh, 100%. Don't take your eyes off Cody in this one. Seth Rollins going for the cover. Oh, Architect trying to end this thing early. Slips out of the way. These two showing how well scouted they each are. <laughs> Puts an end to that. Set up for the oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. And Cody didn't see that coming. Super kick. Good night. Getting tossed around. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Placing them into the corner. Could be over. The official. Look 
going to free the arm and does just that. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. Corey, what do you think Cody needs to do here to assure victory? Not much more than he's been doing in general. Stay the course. Keep focused. Don't try anything too flashy. That last one might be a little hard for Cody to resist, though. And whatever is Rollins' game plan didn't quite pan out for him there. Yeah, that smash mouth style of Cody's coming to the service. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. And responds with a counter of their own. Kick to the body. Attacks from the arsenal of Cody Rhodes. And Cody has just been on it here. Stay in the course, keep in focus. Setting up for something here. Uh oh. No! Lights out! Face first! There's no good way to land on the ring apron like that. The location has the least give out of the entire ring. That's possibly the trigger for Seth to battle his way back into this. Face buster first! Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. And he gets set back into the ring. set in. Rollins struggling. Rollins in deep, deep trouble. Rollins about to head to the pay window. Oh, this could do it. Crossroads. Cody Rhodes nailed it. Oh, he was almost finished. Amazing resilience on display from Seth Rollins. How did Rollins kick out? Looks like Cody is going to have to readjust, maybe strategize here. He thought that was it, but somehow it wasn't. Looking for a neck breaker here. No! Forearm to the base of the skull. And Tagiri finds its mark. Heading up, he's thinking back. From the top. Elbow drop. Good lord. Well, I think we know what Rollins is thinking now. Oh, Seth Rollins with a massive stop. And that may end the American nightmare. The resilience on display from Cody Rhodes is a common occurrence that never gets old. How often do you see Seth Rollins come up that short, that close? He's going to be limited right about now. What are they doing here? Those mounted yeah. punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Cody retaliates. Push. I am feeling a 
titanic ship roaring through this crowd right now. Well, you're not the only one, Saxon. It's all coming to a head now. Oh, the elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Stop in the arm. Oh, the arm taking the brunt of that. Cody Rhodes hooks it up. Rollins. Tonight, Cody absolutely was the better man. The first thing you notice about a guy like Shinsuke Nakamura has to be his swagger. Well, Shinsuke lives the rock star lifestyle in and out of the ring. It's difficult for anyone to take their eyes off of him. Well, we'll be watching closely to see how this rock star fares in this matchup. But across the ring is the head of the table himself, Roman Reigns. Reigns has been anointed the tribal chief by his family's elders, and he is at the tribal chief has it cinched in. There's a Kravat sleeper head submission. And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. Well, that's one way to leave the post. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Four. Yeah. Shinsuke ready to get lethal on his opponent. to go in this one. Supernatural power! Shinsuke Nakamura needs to figure out a solution. Shinsuke has been snuffed out. An elbow will break that up. What a punch! Corey, you've been in the ring with Reigns before. How exactly do you counteract someone as explosive as him? Well, first, just to be clear, Cole, I lost the game. From the top! Oh, oh, drop. Oh, piercing elbow. Off into the pin. Two! He gets the shoulder up at two. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. The big dog is unleashed. Reigns is picking up steam. Wicked clothesline. Shinsuke showing he is not out of it. He's open to start a rush of his own with that attack. Wrenches the arm. Ooh, nasty kick. Oh, strong attack. Shinsuke Nakamura. 
Shinsuke Nakamura. Landslide by Shinsuke Nakamura. There's two. Almost inhuman at this point. Torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Kick to the gut. Boom. DDT. from Nakamura to get the shoulder up. If Shinsuke gets to his feet, you'll see even more of that instinct. A rare moment of frustration for Roman Reigns. The big dog thought this one was over. Kinshasa! Celebration imminent for Nakamura. He kicks out somehow. Holy moly! Reigns is toughness on display with that kick out. And you have to wonder if Nakamura can pull off one more big hit to finally get the win. You don't succeed. Reigns hoists him up. All the way up. Sit out crucifix powerbomb. Arm trapped. Endless knee strikes. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Great strength being shown here. Put down the face first. Uh-oh. Locked and loaded. Here comes. Have been decimated. Fortitude has been Superman punched by the Tribal Chief. Reigns put his stamp on this one. The cover. And Roman Reigns is your winner. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. And the celebrations under. But as cutting as Nakamura's knee strikes can be, they just weren't sharp enough tonight. That's pretty surprising.